everyone, my name is Haley Johns. I'm here at Bullion RV in the sunny Duluth, Minnesota, located off of Lake Superior. Today I get to show you the 2023 Winnebago Hike 100 13 16 SB. So not only do I have one to show you, I have two. So we are going to start on the outside, work our way on the inside, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like mostly unpackaged, unboxed, everything open, and then one that is slightly more undone, so to say. So we're gonna get started. So this awesome camper comes to us at a gross weight of about 4,000 pounds. Great for a mid-sized SUV. Look at that fantastic suspension system. A little bit more information on that. Through the website, I'm going to try and not make this video excruciatingly long. Nice back doors that open wide so you're able to load all of your gear. Um, you do get tie downs here so you, you have quite a few different options. I apologize there's a plane going overhead. We're by the airport. This box here is for your bat wing awning. So the bat wing awning actually attaches right up here. Whoop. And then it goes over on this other side. Whoop due to the close proximity of our other Hike 100, I did not assemble that for you. As you can see, there is a foldable table. This table is housed normally right below this part of the couch here. Um, I'm not gonna get into all of that other, sorry, I just waved my hand in front of the camera. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna get into the rest of this camper because we're gonna go on over into this one. Shout out to these. Carabiners can tie right in, hook on right there very nicely. There is a table here that is all closed up. I will go ahead and show you the table over on this one. So this one I've got a little bit more camp ready so you can assemble, you know, things there. Fillet your fish. We're gonna take a nice look underneath we're going to do a little bit of adventuring when it comes to this video today, so bear with me. The spare tire, that is your um, hitch receiver there, so you can put a bike rack or um, other accessory hitch onto there. Uh, stabilizer jacks, they are electric, so that makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to assemble things. The couches are in couch position. Right now they do fold up flat for your gear. And then this part does also, ooh, if I can do this unhanded. Okay, maybe I can't from this angle. That part does roll down flat. So you do have another bed here along with the bed that is there. I'll show you that once we get into the inside. It is prepped for Voyager backup camera. There is your shore plug-in, your park cable, toggles for your electric stabilizer jacks. Okay, storage compartment here, nice and heavy duty. Outside shower so you can rinse off yourself, rinse off your bikes or your gear before you pile it into your camper. All of those great things. Maybe get a standalone shower curtain so you can shower outside, have a little bit more room ladder that goes all the way to the top i'm going to go up that in just a moment that is your um cassette toilet there all right let's try and do this isn't this great okay bear with me as i make my way to the top while i hold on with both hands so i do not fall See that? Nice, large solar panel. Fantastic. It's kind of cool way up here. 
Okay, now I'm working my way back down. Oh my gosh, you guys are troopers. Now, these bars here are to hold your gear so you can tie it down. Very handy. Nice electric awning. So that is a push button awning. And then you would, of course, have that open along with your bat wing awning as well. That would be a great campsite. So this folds up just like the other compartment, except this one comes down, gives you a few different spots. Now there is an induction cooktop inside. I will show you that in a moment. So you are able to use that out here. You do have a propane quick connect, so you can also use a grill of some kind out here as well. That's a better shot of the spare tire. Oh, once again, that suspension. Okay. Without further ado, let's work our way into the inside. Now this carpet is not here um, when you purchase it. We just leave it here so that when people go in and out, they can brush off their feet. All right. I'm gonna start with the, uh, the fridge. Nice size fridge, easy access from right outside. So as you load up all of your groceries, you can just load them right up in. This is, that was loud. Okay, I can't get that. It's still, it's so brand new. We haven't even completely opened it, but that would be something that you would definitely get to do. It's like Christmas. Nice flat surface. You could use the induction top here plug it in right over here oh and as you can see that's my cell phone right on the cell phone you don't need to but that charges your cell phone there that charge connect which is great convection microwave toggle switches you get a speaker Nice storage space. I put the camera from the pictures up there. It's nice storage space above the sink. Nice light so you can see what you're doing. Again, phone charger. Nice sink with a sink cover. And this does push off to the side so you do have more counter space. Great storage underneath. That's your spray hose and your power cable in there. So now that we, and I'm gonna try and take a step back so you can kind of see. So when we first come in, you have your kitchen to the right and then straight ahead, you have your bathroom. Now this is a wet bath. That's your cassette toilet. It does have um, a switch so you can then rotate this lid around so you have more leg space this way or whichever way it works best for you. I did put the shelving in. So these shelves actually come out quite easy. So you can use this as shelf, shelf space. That almost was a tongue twister. A rod for curtain rod or a clothing rod for clothes. So you can use that as shelf space when it's not in use or you can take them out and have that space available. Similar to um, some other wet baths I'm sure you have seen. If you haven't before, there's your sink. This is your, you know, toilet paper holder. There is that. So for a wet bath, it's a very great use of space. Now we're going to move our way over into here. Induction stove. So this actually would not be there typically. More space to hang clothes. Fantastic. Here. Now, switching gears. There is the one bed. You get own lights. 
And those are the couches. Now these, see I can do it better when I'm not in a, so you can have it like that, use it as a bed. There are more legs underneath so you can stabilize that. That's where the table can be housed that way, but when that couch is up, that table also goes upright so you can utilize these tie downs and keep your adventure gear in place. Oh, now it doesn't want to do this for me. There we go. I apologize for the awkward camera handling. There we are. AC unit. Keeps all of this nice and cool. I'm shimmying my way through. So you can see on over in here, there is a USB plug-in and the lights on either side for this lower part here. There is another cubby with some USB and outlets there as well. I'm gonna work my way back out this way. Take another slow look. Well, there you have it, the 2023 Winnebago Hike 100s, 1316 SB. My name is Haley Johns, and if you'd like to work with me on either of these units, or maybe any other unit in our inventory, give me a call, 218-740-4997. And as always, I'm willing to go the extra mile to help you camp in style. Have a great day.